welcome back everyone this is fee and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel so i'm still trying to figure out how to do the whole um <laughs> welcome back thing my sister has given me a stern warning don't join the high guys gang i know i said that in my last video but yeah so i'm still trying to figure out what i'm going to say but anyway thank you for being here once again thank you for liking subscribing thank you for commenting i've seen your comments i've seen your um, remarks and i hope that i've been able to address your questions so far and i hope that i can address um so much more in the future so if there's anything that you have to ask me about the process just feel free to ask me basically i'm happy to answer that So today I'm going to be talking about the process of moving, moving to Canada. So you've done your application, you've gone through the waiting period, sitting down and hey, will these people give me this thing? Hey, do I have this? Do I have that? You've gone through the process and you've successfully done that and they requested your passport. It has been stamped and now it's time to move. Move, move, move. So. The moment I got my um, my visa in no, the moment I got my requ my request in November, um, they shared with me links of um, different settlement agencies that could meet my different um, requirements or different needs as a new me new immigrant. Cause like you're coming to somewhere new, totally you don't know anything about. Like it's assumed that you don't know anything about the process. God bless these people. Like there's nothing they, they do not think about. So once I got my um, visa, it came with a number. And so with that number, I was able to join a lot of um, settlement agencies. I tried it all out. There was, I mean, Nigerian, like you, you don't know what you get from this one that you cannot get from this one. So yeah, buffet. I got everything mixed match. I put everything inside the pot. So basically they um, provide um, settlement advice for new immigrants. If it's housing they are looking for, there is a settlement agency for that. If it's um, about education, like if you want to migrate and go into an education, like top up your whatever educational um, level you are on, there is a, an agency for that. If it's for um, those of you that want to start working immediately, there's an agency that will take care of that. So I went with um, an agency for that would teach me how to fit into the Canadian um, job market. So this was pre-arrival, like even before you arrived, they've already started um, helping and they've already started teaching you ways to adapt. Like they taught me how to I don't know, attend an interview. They taught me how to format my CV in the Canadian way. Like, there are things you think you know that you don't know. So, yeah, God bless these people. Like, they thought of everything for those that have children. There's a program for you, there's a plan for everybody. Like, there's a plan. So, while I was still in Nigeria, I was already um, attending webinars, trying to um, understand this place that i'll be going to because in all honesty there was like i really didn't have anybody that i could ask so it is really a land of opportunities so they made provision for everything so even if i even though i didn't have somebody to talk to about it even if i didn't know anybody here there was already somebody taking care of you and taking care of whatever needs you might have from uh, with your whole settling down and immigration process so yeah um they provided me with the links to that and immediately i registered with them and took every opportunity like sometimes to be in the middle of the night because like you know we're on different um we're on different time zones so these um agencies were really helpful they the province i finally decided to settle in Alberta. It was from talking with them and from like doing my own research that I 
finally decided to settle here so like i'm a lawyer back home in nigeria and so um i cannot immediately come and start practicing law here i have to go through a licensing process and that will take a couple of years so in the meantime i had to have a job that i was doing so when i was thinking of career paths that I would take while um while waiting to get my license oh i i did a lot of research and um paralegal legal assistants kept coming up a lot so i decided oh this might be something that i wanted to follow so when i spoke with my settlement advisor like two of them were like oh you know that in so they asked oh what province are you looking at i was like i was like oh um i think i would be going to either ontario or alberta and so they both told me oh no um this career path they are thinking of the acts about the career path i was thinking of i said um legal assistant or paralegal and they were like oh no in ontario you also have to be licensed just like a um, legal practitioner you can't come from nigeria and straight up go and become a paralegal but in alberta you could do that and so that was it that was one of the reasons why i chose alberta because i could jump straight into um, the paralegal career path also i also chose alberta because like the taxes are lower like it's one of the least expensive places to live in and um it's also it has the lowest taxes but one of the highest um, minimum wage so it's a pretty decent place to live in my opinion so i picked this place i picked alberta but it is cold let me not even lie to you it is whew, cold okay so that was how i landed in alberta that was how i chose alberta thank you once again for liking my videos thank you for commenting i look forward to talking with you guys every day in the comment section and even in the videos so once again please like comment subscribe share share with your friends share with your family share with anybody that you know is going through this process and just needs um somebody to talk to about it once again i'm open to talking to you about my process i'm open to answering any questions that you might have please do not forget to leave your questions in the comment section or you can reach me by mail if you want to talk to me privately whatever help i can render i am happy to always help i'm here to always help thank you very much and god bless you